Okay, good day already. We're back in Deliver Us the Moon. We just arrived at uh, Tomborg facility um, after Sarah's poor revelation that she felt realised when. Uh, what much would I say? I don't know. Who cares? Um, please put all luggage on the cafe belt. Through labour we grow. So I wonder if we're going to come across a little bit of that. Come across... Oh! Any humans here? Like Sarah. Because she's got to be somewhere. Even if it's just her body. Which, unfortunately, I fear may be the reality of the situation. Okay, can I go through now then? Yeah, okay, fair enough. That turned off the scanners, I assume. Uh, oh, good. Check that, backside. Evacuate from the moon rock, harvested. Our quarries surrounding Turnburg. Process healing free that powers up. Powers of future constructed on one of the richest. Ah, uh, it's just a lot of information. <laughs> it's not like a story. Every day we work for the safety of our loved ones. Ah. Oh, what was that noise? Oh, look, Rumbas. Assume that's what they are. Oh, look at that. That's pretty cool. Reactor capacity at nine percent. We're close now. Let's go, Alex. Welcome to Tombo. Who are you? Sarah. Sarah Baker. Used to be stationed at Pearson. You work here? I used to. Name's Isaac. Isaac. Mr. Johansson? Where's the rest? I thought everyone... Had... There's no one else. Why are you here? They're all gone? I... I'm here to fix the MPT. Mm -hmm. No use. They locked the mainframe. The system's inaccessible. I, I'm a software engineer. Show me. Maybe I can... What's going on? The reactor is running out of fuel, but power's still building up inside. With the MPT offline, that power can't go anywhere. If it isn't stopped soon... Wait, you're a software engineer? Come with me. Wait, hold up! A fateful encounter. Upon her arrival in a des deserted Tomburg, Sarah learns the reactor is active but running out of fuel. She is met by a surprising stranger, Isaac Johansson. In spite of his key position on the Lunar Council, he is not on board the Outward Arcs. As they realize they share a common goal, they team up to stabilize the reactor before it destroys the entire facility. Seven days after the blackout. So what Earth looks like now, is it? Jesus. Lots of dust everywhere. Load of uh, accomplishments and stuff. On the walls. Uh, more law that isn't really that relevant to the story. Uh, 
Required security update installed here. Okay, I can't take it with me, so... Um... Hmm. Where are we going, little robot? Where are we going? Because I haven't got a fucking clue. Actually, let's see. Head deeper inside the facility. Right, yeah. Movie night. Star maker. Moon man. <laughs> Fair enough. Tomber. Toilets. Inaccessible. Ah, oh, what happened to you, little one? Were you Sarah's one? Oh, actually, there's a few around here, so perhaps not. Hmm. Some internal mail left about. Oh, we can interact with this, but I don't know why we'd want to. Oh! We're going to shove it down the stairs. Uh, it's been awkward. Alright, perhaps I need to do it this way. No, there's nothing to grab hold of there. There we go. That works. Security breach detected. Locked up in effect. Oh damn, we tripped the security breach. Uh, sensor. Oh no. It's turned into a stealth game. I like stealth games, but not when they're not meant to be stealth games. Because, I mean, there's no, there's no even, like, crouch or anything in this game, so... Oh well. Off we go. Whee! Oh, dearie me. Seems like this is where they left their dead. That was us, we made it work. Hmm. Okay, can't go in that way. In the crew quarters currently. Right. Don't know where I'm going, that's part of the issue. Oh shit. Ah. Dead. What the fuck? I, I just <laughs> respawned in and immediately got attacked. Uh, this is what I mean by uh, don't like it when it's not meant to be a stealth game. off. Um, ah, oh, fuck off. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. So I don't even know where I'm going. That's half the issue. Oh, damn it. Um. Ooh. 
guess, around there. No. No, dead end. Hmm. Oh, am I meant to be going up there? Oh, fuck. Just fuck off and then I'll... Oh, God! Oh, dear. I think I'm dead. Yeah. Okay, well, at least I think I know where I'm going now. Fuck off! Jesus. Dead again, yep. <laughs> that was me being impatient there. This is... I was enjoying this game up until this point. Hopefully it's the only part like this. Okay, so I can't I can't just run across there as much as I would like to. Saving. Okay, good. Hopefully we'll be able to do that again. Objective. Check on the MPT in the control centre. Find a different way to exit the crew quarters. Right, yeah. and what looked an awful lot like body bags. What happened? Now's not the time. You knew these people. Enough! You don't know what you're talking about. No, that's right. I don't. I don't know why the MPT shut down, and I don't know why the colony vanished overnight. Reactor capacity at 8%. We have to focus on the reactor. Our people were killed here, Isaac. It wasn't supposed to go like this. Outward. It would have saved everybody. What? By just packing up and leaving Earth? That's a terrible plan. Even by MacArthur's standards. Outward left us all to rot. You don't even care? Don't you? Don't you dare. I've dedicated my life to sustaining Earth, even after it killed my wife. My daughter's still down on that godforsaken rock. Then how could you leave her behind? Does she even know? Look, there's still time to fix this. We can fix the MPT. You could be a hero. Look around, Miss Baker. There are no heroes here. They're gone. Now get a move on. Right, okay. Let's have a look at the... What was it, this one? Uh, I saw it realizes on the MacArthur's leadership. 
Um, why don't we have for this? And the moon, she gives in to rage, grief and disbelief. Nearly exhausted by her journey, she regains hope when she appears at the time Berg reactor is still active. In spite of MacArthur's outward mission, the NPT might be restored and Earth saved. Okay, oh, what was the... As they make their way to the reactor control center, Sarah bears witness to the aftermath of a riot. Furious, she demands answers from Isaac. Tensions rise and Isaac reveals a personal secret. Meanwhile, the reactor becomes more and more unstable. Seven days and seven minutes after blackout. Right, okay, let's start doing whatever we need to do here. Oop. Um, this one. Okay. No, we're not, because I can't get around there. Hmm, how would I... How would I... Do that? Oh, actually, is there a way up here? Do I just jump off here? Hmm. I don't know, I don't think that's right. Unless... Uh, Unless... Hang on. There was... Wasn't there something else you could do with this? No, that's showing those. No, okay. Alright, let's put the power back into... This side of things, the the elevator. I'm looking for something big that we can drag onto the cargo elevator. Perhaps I don't need to, perhaps I'm overthinking this, perhaps I just need to go up. Oh, nope, that achieved nothing. What am I missing? Oh. Put something in here, possibly. Oh, wait a minute. I don't have to drag something all the way back here, do I? Is that something I can grab? No. Hmm, looking for something I can grab.
Ow. You did. A way to escape that. Um, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. We do this and then we just climb up again. Just climb up the, um, the way we got in here first time round. Uh, it's giving me a save point now. Ah! Oh. Oh, fuck. Right, is this save point going to put me immediately in a red cone of light? It didn't, okay. Um. Fuck off. Oh, fuck. Damn it. I shouldn't run by them, I think for some reason they can hear me. Go back to your normal routine, thank you. There we go. Whee! Okay. I didn't take you for someone who's into comics. They remind me of home. Of what we're doing this for. Reactor capacity at 4%. You know, my brother used to love Moon Man. He was really into these stories. He, um... He was born ill, chronically. When I joined the WSA, he thought I was giving up on him. But without the amputee's energy, there's no way the clinic could keep his treatment going. It's the only way I could help him, even if he'd hate me for it. We try to help them, the people we love. We do what we must to keep them safe, even if they don't understand. And sometimes we're... we're wrong. I brought my daughter, Kathy, here. She's in cryo now. Isaac? You said your daughter lives on Earth. That's Claire. Uh, my other daughter. We... we don't talk anymore. <laughs> Get some sleep. We try again tomorrow. Still unable to break through the reactor's mainframe security protocols put in place by MacArthur, Sarah and Isaac take a break, with the reactor sending out increasingly violent tremors through the facility. They find themselves reminded of what they are fighting for and open up to each other about their families. 10 days, 19 hours and 37 minutes after the blackout. Private whiteboard. Suspiciously hidden in the men's room, the whiteboard had filled with a number of disquieting calculations. Disquitting? Disquieting? Well, anyway, Isaac Johnson Johansson's findings reveal a so sobering conclusion. Given the reactor's productivity capability, production cap capacity rather, and a limited amount of helium free on the moon, the MPT can't keep up with humanity's current energy demand. Humanity would have to change. Ooh, getting a bit close to home that one. No pun intended. Um Where do we go? Well, I mean actually there's loads of places to go. It's just I didn't want to go there while all the recording was going on. 
There was a poster I saw somewhere that I wanted to comment on, but I'm sure I'll find it again. Uh, eager to fulfill his mission, the astronaut stirs a sleeping giant, and as a per perilous voyage comes to a stunning climax, he finds himself he finds that some journeys end, others begin. Where's the journey? Oh, whatever. <laughs> My reading skills are atrocious, so I apologise. Oh. Sarah, for any day to day things, use 8662 to get into the storeroom. So I guess they live the rest of their lives. Oh, that's it. Jessica Hale. Is that meant to be like a pun on Jennifer Hale, who is a voice actor who does a lot of characters uh, namely she's Naomi Campbell out of Metal Gear Solid anyway, uh, tailored specifically for fresh minds joining the lunar colony this comprehensive guide provides step by step insight into the answer of the great energy crisis as only official guidebook to the MPT from Moondust, the MPT contains everything you need to know about the mining and production of helium-3, how to react to processes it into energy, and how the MPT transmits that energy to Earth. Alright, okay. Whoa. There was a little bit of a glitch there, but... Um, I thought there was one more room we could go into. I don't seem to be able to find it though. this last room wonder does it tell me where the storm is here no it doesn't storeroom where are you Aha, uh -huh, so that's the storm, I think. How do I get in there, though? Is something I do with you, mate? Ah, oh, it is. I go up. Uh, this way. Um, <laughs> I think I just went... Oh, there we go, okay. And then down here, I seem to. There we go. Right. So it's clearly a gym of some sort. Oh! <laughs> right, wait a minute. Lovely. Reactor capacity at three percent. We're running out of time. There has to be something we've overlooked. We've checked the entire system. If we don't find a way in soon, Earth's lost. Sarah, it's... it's a wasteland already. Look, I know. We messed up for centuries. But the MPT can buy us the time we need to make it right again. I'd like to believe that. We all believe it, Isaac. That's why the WSA exists. Or whatever's left of it now. 
What do we tell the people back on Earth? It wasn't supposed to be like this. MacArthur ordered everybody to load the helium in monorails and evacuate. I said the reactor was dangerous. The people followed him? They followed orders, uh, but some didn't trust him. They resisted. It, uh, it escalated. There was fighting. He even crashed a monorail. What about the ASEs? MacArthur weaponized them. He could overload their safety limiters. But why? Why would he turn them on our own? He's a practical man. Never forget this about William MacArthur. He won't bat an eye so long as he thinks he acts for the greater good. So that's what we'll tell them back on Earth. Our colleagues gave their lives for the greater good. Whatever that is. Right, okay. So a quick read of the uh the greater good one. Um with only a small amount of fuel left inside the reactor, uncertainty creeps in and sparks a discussion with uh, about Earth. With Isaac is finally ready to talk about what went down at the Tomberg facility when the outward plan was executed. Eleven days, seventeen hours, forty eight minutes after blackout. Right, so what I'm doing here is I'm going to take this back over here so that we can jump back over to the other side and then we can go round and uh, put the power back from the sleeping quarters back into the uh, maintenance thing. <laughs> Not explain that particularly well, but I'm doing it right now so you, I'm sure you can see what I'm talking about. There we go. Come on, round the corner. this onto the elevator and then we're going to push it down and we can go into at the crew quarters? I can't really remember where what uh, we're trying to break the wall into now. Come on. Stop getting stuck on shit. There we go. Uh, control center. 